Hi, this is Mark Brownstein from the Disco Biscuits. In the 2000 presidential election, young adults had the lowest turnout among any segment of the population. No wonder the needs and rights of this group are so often ignored. And yet young people are among the most passionate Americans with some of the strongest opinions. This time around, let's make sure our voice is heard. They think we don't care. We'll show them come November. Headcount is a nonpartisan, not for profit organization devoted to voter registration and participation in democracy. They were created in 2004 by a group of artists, music industry professionals, and fans, all determined to make sure the live music community is well represented at the polls. We um, basically went out on tour with Fish and Dave Matthews and the Dead and, you know, Mo, the Biscuits, String Cheese, Government Mule, and we registered voters. Uh, for the 2004 presidential election. And while we were on the road, we started to hook up with other nonprofits and uh, share table space and share resources. And it was natural that when the Biscuits got back up and running, we would, uh, we would work with some of those uh, projects. Co-chairs Mark Brownstein of the Disco Biscuits and Andy Bernstein are all joined by a strong board of directors that includes Bob Weir of The Dead, Al Schneer of Mo as well as the people behind Relics Magazine, Jambase, and Bonnaroo. The determined group registered nearly 50,000 voters in 2004, more than any other all-volunteer group in the United States. Those who start wars, never fight them. And those who fight wars, they never like them. Those who write laws, they can recite them. And those of us who just fight laws, we live and die them. Lord, I know this time is it is. This I know. Time to go home and take our boys away. No. Take our girls, it's time to go home. Don't take our boys away. No. Don't take our girls away. It's time to go home. There's a perception that our generation doesn't want to get involved in politics or doesn't care. There's a group of, of individuals out there who are doing everything they can to make sure that that perception doesn't last. I've seen some people work tirelessly to get people engaged and get people involved, get people talking. There's just more of a reason for people to get involved more now so than ever before. And that's a, that's a great thing because yeah, participating in democracy is, is really important. Headcount is getting going this summer on a tour called Midterms Matter. It's going to be with OAR and Dave Matthews and Mo and the Biscuits, and we're just going to send teams out to each of these band shows and uh, try to spread the word about the upcoming midterm elections. This year, Headcount aims to bring voter participation back to the forefront by reminding young people that midterms matter. Referring to the midterm elections in which one third of the Senate and all seats in the House of Representatives are up for re election. In the summer of 2006, the organization carried out the Multi-City Midterms Matter Tour, a series of live music events where artists and volunteers work together to register voters and urge everyone to vote in this year's elections. Among those taking a turn with the clipboard were Warren Haynes of Government Mule, former Fish bassist Mike Gordon, banjo virtuoso Bela Fleck, Al Schneer of Mo, and the entire lineups of Umphreys McGee and the Disco Biscuits. Bama Works, the foundation of the Dave Matthews Band donated $15,000 to Headcount, financing much of the group's activity. Relics Magazine, as well as several other private donors, also made significant contributions, which helped make the Midterms Matter Tour an undeniable success. Here we have this great community of festival goers, and it's, it's my favorite time of the year, this, this time, you know, like the end of May and the beginning of June, when you go out to these festivals and you see people that you haven't seen in maybe five or six months and you see all these familiar faces and say hi and check in what have you been doing over the year 
And we have this really vibrant festival community. And that's where headcount comes in. You know, now we have this um, midterm election coming up. And a lot of people are feeling like, God, we're not electing a new president. We're kind of stuck for another, you know, two, three years of dealing with what we have. And it's a difficult time right now. And so why vote? And um, what we're saying, those of us who are involved in the headcount, is these midterm elections really set the tone for the next presidential election. And if we can make some change in this country now, we can set a precedent for what's going to happen in the next election. And these elections are really important. And so we're encouraging everybody to get registered to vote. And then come November, go out and make sure that the festival community is heard as much <laughs> as the religious right, as the gun lobby, as the healthcare lobby, as anything else. We have just as much a right to be there and expressing our views about you know, taking care of place. In 2008, the organization aims to evolve into the philanthropic arm of the live music scene, working with artists and volunteers to stage political, environmental, and charitable activity throughout the United States.